Hey, most of us try to protect our skin against harmful ultraviolet rays when we're outside, especially this time of year. But many of us have no clue about the danger that we may be facing simply driving our cars. Fox Medical Team's Joyce Evans looks at the rising number of skin cancers being linked to driving and an inexpensive way to protect yourself. UV rays. They're the rays from the sun that cause skin cancer? No clue. Doesn't bother me. Don't even think about it. The ultraviolet rays are the ones that hurt you. I, I cover myself up a lot, as you see. I think it's something we all should be aware of. I'm going to be gone before the skin cancer gets me. Just how little most people seem to care about the effects of ultraviolet rays has doctors fuming and worried at the same time. And I'm ready to put my foot wherever it's got to go to get this done. I've been screaming about it, uh, but I, I think it needs to go beyond that. Dermatologist Eric Bernstein is screaming about rising numbers of skin cancer cases doctors are seeing, not because of sunbathing, not because of other outdoor activities, or even indoor tanning. It's amazing. Almost always you can find a reason. Doctors are finding more often the reason has to do with the level of UV rays you're exposed to while you're driving your car. That's right. And the Skin Cancer Foundation says your front windows don't even have to be rolled down to be exposed to too much harmful UV. No, you can't see it, and you can't feel it. So everybody wear your sunscreen, right? So I keep sunscreen in my car because I have a long commute every day. Many people do. Still, the latest statistics by SkinCancer.org show more than half of all skin cancer cases in the United States are on the left or the driver's side of the body and most of them are developing on the head and neck. Doctors say while cancer is as bad as it gets, pretty much everybody's skin is being damaged in other ways. Photo aging, brown spots, redness, wrinkles, moles, and more. And I have it checked all the time and a couple pieces scraped off. So then they use that like liquid nitrogen to take it off? You can look through those pictures. It is dramatically more on the left side. And then you ask people that have more damage on the right, they're either the passenger, they have a sunroof, sit next to a window at work. It's even worse, he says, for people who drive for a living. I figure I can handle it. Bus drivers, I saw one today. She was telling me I got all this damage. You know, I want you to help me fix it. I have an uncle who right now is battling skin cancer on his left arm, and he was a truck driver for years and years and years. Yes, wear your sunscreen, but the doctor says it's very unlikely you can slather on enough protection. And he says extra UV protection already installed in some vehicles may not be enough either. And ultraviolet A rays come right through the car window. Glass will block UVB, but we need a plastic film to block UVA. A flimsy piece of nearly clear plastic. Something like this, tinting you can see through, claiming to block 99% of UV rays. Full spectrum, clear, how? Ultraviolet light is invisible. So the fact that the film's clear, it's okay. It's recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation and it's allowed in areas where dark tinting on the front windows is banned. They're available all over the internet. We checked out Bob Viemeyer applying it at his garage in Hatboro, PA. Driver's side, front passenger side, and windshield. How much? The two front doors and the windshield, you're about $320. After three years, you might want to just get it metered just to check. You want to see if the level of protection is dropping. The owner of this car is being treated for skin cancer right now on her face, and she didn't want to speak on camera. Bob said a lot of his customers are people who are already suffering significant sun damage. It's a too little, too late kind of thing. We found a lot of people still would not be interested. Nope, not one bit. Depending on the cost, I'll be honest with you, because I'm thinking I could do the same thing with a cheaper sunscreen. Bob Viemeyer says he's busy servicing drivers who get it, but he thinks more people would get it if the film was remarketed for its other purpose, anti-aging. I think someone might be more inclined to do it for that reason than the fact that they might get cancer in 10 years. So that's probably a greater motivator in our society. And yes, UV rays come through building windows too. We found the price of those sheer UV tents can vary company to company, as well as their percentage of UV protection. If you want to check one out, look for the product seal of recommendation by the Skin Cancer Foundation. There's also a list and we have a link at myfoxphilly.com under scene on TV.
Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News. All right, Joyce, the crucial game five.